Hey everybody, Liz here. How are you guys doing today? I have a special treat for you guys, but before we get into that, I just want to show you my very small haul. I just picked up two candles from Bath & Body Works. Most of the candles are $10.95, so I picked up just two of them. This one is the Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. It smells so so good nice and fruity because that's the type of candles i like um or fruity smells now that's the original price 24.50 but of course i would never pay that so it was ten dollars and 95 cents and of course it's a three wick candle both of them are and i like the three wick better because it burns better and you can smell it really nice but those two wick candles and the one wick ones nah i don't like those I love the packaging, so pretty. That is pink, lilac, and vanilla. And it smells good too, but that's not my favorite. The first one that I showed you, that one smells even better, but they both smell really nice. Hubby said he liked the other one better too, but it's a three wick candle as well. But I like the color of it, so it's very, very pretty. Pink and gold and white. So me. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys those. I don't know if anybody picked up any candles from that sale, but if not, you missed out. Important candle safety information. This is a little information sheet that gives you how to take care of the candle, how to burn it, whatnot. And I've never seen one of these. I don't know if this is new, because I tell you, it's been a long time since I bought a candle. So I don't know, maybe they've always done this. I have a special little treat for you guys. It is a challenge tag, and this is called the Get to Know Me Challenge. I saw this on Jill's channel, Jill Style. Hi, Jill. And I thought I would jump right on in. So it's a list of 10 questions that uh, you guys can get to know me. So let's go ahead and get started. First one, favorite color as a child and now as an adult. Uh, as a child, I liked pink and as an adult, I still like pink. Although I have graduated to some of the other different colors. I mean, I like a lot of pastel colors. I love red, red will always be number one. And I like gold, okay? I like lavender as well, but my favorites are pink and red. Number two, where do you want to visit in the world? Ooh. Well, there's not too many places I want to visit because I don't like traveling too much, but for some of the most beautiful places, uh, Costa Rica is one. I would love to go there. Oh, it just sounds, just the thought of it, Costa Rica, Ooh, with my hubby. <laughs> Oh, Jamaica, now I've got to go to Jamaica. We talked about Jamaica so many times and we're going, okay? I said we went to, I said I was going to go to Maui, Hawaii. Well, I didn't say Maui, but I said I was going to go to Hawaii and I said that for years and we ended up going there. But Jamaica is another one and I wouldn't mind going to Cancun, Mexico. I hear that that's a beautiful place as well. It's very romantic. And I guess you can see where I'm going with it. I like romantic type of uh, places to visit. Now, I don't mind visiting other places in the world, but um, I can't really think of too many places. You know, some people like Paris. Uh, uh, <laughs> no offense to Paris, but I'm not, you know, I can, I can leave Paris alone. There's nothing wrong with Paris. I'm pretty sure it would be wonderful to be there. But it's not uh, first choice on my list. But those three are Jamaica, Costa Rica, and Cancun, Mexico. Number three, what is your favorite restaurant or favorite food? Well, I'll give you both. Now, I'm not sure if this restaurant is still in business because um, I live in California. I don't know if Acapulco, Acapulco, Al or Acapulco, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but I like that restaurant. Um, I think they're still in business. I don't think we have one in the city where I live, but in California, I 
do believe Acapulco is still in business. At least I hope it is. I haven't been there in a long time, so I don't know. But as you can tell by the name of the restaurant, I like Mexican food. Now, I like different other foods. I love Chinese food as well. That would be second choice. But Mexican food is number one. I love me some dough. Now, I know dough is not good, especially too much of it. Like, I love burritos. I love a thick <laughs> tortilla with, you know, stuff in it. I like uh, soft tacos, crunchy tacos, enchiladas. Now, Aaron, my son, he loves for me to make enchiladas especially uh, chicken enchiladas. So, you know, that's what we like to eat. But that's one of my favorite foods, Mexican food, and then Chinese food. Okay, moving right along, number four, are you married or single? I am married. Been married for almost 21 years. Well, it will be 21 this November. So, yay, I'm thankful happy to be married this long okay <laughs> all right number five do you have children and if so how many I have two adult children girl and boy six why did you create your YouTube channel you know that's a good question and I know the answer to it the answer is I have to give it off to my son Aaron that boy, I mean, he, he's a young, young man. Not a man yet, but he's young adult. He inspired me. He got me with YouTube. He is the reason why. Um, not he's the reason why, but it's because of decorating. I love to decorate, as you guys can tell. Um, so that is the main reason. That's my passion. I love to decorate. It just gives me peace, and it just... I don't know, it just does a lot for me. So he inspired me, and he was the one that got me started on my channel. He set up everything. He taught me everything that I know. Now, I don't know everything about uh, being a YouTube creator, uh, but everything that I know that I do that you guys see, I have to give it off to Aaron. Kudos to him. So that's why I'm on YouTube, because I love decorating and interacting with you guys. Okay, number number seven. Tell us the most inspirational thing you have experienced, like Bible verse, artwork, book, nature, or person. Well, there are, let's see, there are two books that really inspire me, have inspired me, because I've read them both. One of them is a book called Through the Fire, and I hope I get it right. Through the fire, through the water. I hope I got that right. Through the fire, through the water, through the water, through the fire. I believe it was through the fire, through through the water. And that's by uh, Dr. Betty Price. She is the late uh, Apostle Fred Price's uh, wife. You guys don't know who they are. They are Christians and they have a church in Los Angeles, California called Crenshaw Christian Center. And that's where I used to belong. I was a member, I still am a member, but I've moved, relocated, so I'm not there anymore. But she um, talked about her ordeal with cancer that she went through. I also dealt with cancer in 09 and came through it. So I like her title, Through the Fire, Through the Water. And I was blessed by that book. I tell you, I have it to this day, and it's a very good book if you're going through any type of cancer or just anything. The next book that uh, was inspirational to me is um, a book by Joyce Meyer, and that is The Battlefield of the Mind. Ooh, my goodness. That book is powerful. I mean, it teaches you all about the mind and why and how we think the way we think. I mean, if you don't know about that book, go read it. Also, there's a Bible verse, and I forgot to write down the book, chapter, and verse. Um, so maybe I'll put it down here. Uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I love that verse, and also 
trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Now, I love to just meditate on those two verses because when we go through certain things, things in general in life, I mean, those two scriptures really help to inspire me, keep me going. Okay, enough of that. Number eight, what is your favorite inspirational song right now? Ooh, because of who you are, I give you glory. <laughs> Because of Who You Are by Vicki Yohi. I love that song, Because of Who You Are. And also, she has another song called In the Presence of Jehovah by Vicki Yohi. And those two songs are very inspirational. They're very motivating and they just help to encourage me on my, my low days when I feel a little bit down, certain situations. I start listening to worship music and it's just like, wow. I just love listening to worship music because it helps to motivate me, encourage me, lift me up. So two good songs. Number nine, what has been your favorite road trip or vacation? Well, I don't really like road trips. Um, I try to stay away from being in the car for any length of time because I get motion sickness, guys, and um, it's not a good feeling. I don't take Dramamine. I have never tried it. I usually chew up Rolaids, but I just can't stand that sick feeling. I mean, and it doesn't really happen when I drive, but who wants to drive a long distance, right? So I like to be driven. <laughs> <laughs> so I try not to do road trips. If I do, it's got to be something small. Now, I like vacations. So my favorite vacation would be when me and my husband went to Maui, Hawaii. And that was beautiful. You got to go to Hawaii. If you have not been there, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Maui, Hawaii. Number, number 10. The last question. What is the biggest way that you have changed since you were a child and in what way are you still the same? And what what is the biggest way that you have changed? Well, I have changed the biggest way that I'm a little bit more vocal um, where I will speak my mind um, as, as you know, right now as an adult, as a child, I didn't do so much of that. I kept my feelings all bundled inside. Uh, I'm still shy. I'm still, um, uh, what do you call it? Quiet. Now you may, you may not be able to tell, but when I'm on, on YouTube doing my thing, I don't really feel shy because I'm expressing myself, so this is what I like to do. And when you do something that you really like to do, you don't really feel the shyness. But if you know me, you know I am. But anyway, that's it. Um, that's pretty much it. Still shy, still quiet. I'm still reserved. Yes, I am. My high school friends always say, Liz, you always were reserved, and I still am, I must say. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think I answered that pretty good. So anyway, that's the end of this challenge. Now I'm gonna challenge about six ladies to do this. Um, and I still forgot to write down their names. Oh my goodness. I have some written down. Okay, the first person I'm gonna challenge to do this, this challenge would be Creations by Simone. I would appreciate Simone if you would, would mind doing this. Uh, Glam Elegant Living, Allie, Amethyst Adventures, Courtney, Lady Cinnamon, Chrissy, uh, let's see, who else? Diva Decorating, if you would do this, Geraldine, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one more person, Styling with Gigi Faison. I would appreciate if you guys would mind doing this challenge. And if you do, please let me know that you've done it and I'll watch your video. 
But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this fun challenge. I love doing videos like this. This is considered a tag to me. So when I saw um, Jill do this, I was like, ooh, I was paying attention like, okay, this is a tag and this is what I like to do. I like to do things like this, get to know me, answering questions to me, this is fun. I hope you like it. So if you do like it, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. And leave me a comment down below and I welcome you to the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.